What's going on ladies and gents, we were here for T3G and today we're going to be reviewing the LG G10. Now, I got this uh, through a deal last winter uh, where I got the phone and the tablet for free. Obviously with the two year contract on the $10 data line for the tablet, but that wasn't that big a deal for me since I do take my electronics all over the place so it would be nice to have a tablet that was already connected to data and I didn't have to, you know, putz around with hotspots and all that good stuff. So I do have uh, a new, you know, $10 a month, so I guess it's not free per se, but I really, I really don't care. It's not that big a deal. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So here it is. We'll go over the physical features that it's got and then we'll get into the functionality of it. Um, I like the fact that it's got stereo speakers on the back when it's in my case, which I picked up for something along the lines of seven or eight dollars on ebay um, it doesn't fit a hundred percent it's kind of kind of a little janky but it does stay in there uh, it actually sits really well so when it's in that kind of tablet reading mode it, uh, it ha the speaker slots here get reflected off the case so it actually gets a pretty decent sound on this um, on the bottom you've got just your charging port and actually a microphone and then on top you've got your micro sd slot your infrared and your headphone jack. All your controls are on the right side. The left side is completely blank, so you've got your power and your volume rocker. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. So let's get into the, the guts. Here, you have basically a lot of what makes the LG G3 really cool is in here. So you've got your tap to close and tap to, to open. Um, your, your custom unlocks are also there. Uh, the tablet does have a few more options in that. Uh, there are there are a couple other options. It's not a ton of difference, but where are we at here? So I believe uh, Crystal and Dewdrop are the two that are not on the phone, if memory, if memory serves right. Um, but otherwise, everything is pretty much very similar as far as usage goes on this device. So a few of the main differences are that in the on the bottom menu here, uh, we do actually have the menu button as opposed to having the all apps button. So that's a little different than the, the phone itself. And then it's, this is actually also still running 4.4.2. Uh, so to get to all apps, we got this. I'm not going my settings, so we're running 4.4.2. Let's let's do a real quick check while we're here. Check for system update, and nothing. So no lollipop on this as of yet. Uh, I actually have looked into it. Nothing really, nothing really on the on the horizon for this. So very likely that this is not going to be getting lollipop but it's really not that big a deal everything works exceptionally well on this it's very quick you got the quad core on there we got the specs on the screen for you guys um so this runs very quickly it is very smooth i mean transitions no problem the apps loads a little slow that's kind of I mean, after some use that's what i see with pretty much anything uh, plus, I'm not on this thing way, way too much, so it doesn't really get used to what I do. So, see, it takes a second for every newer screen to load up, but once everything's open, you've got very little delay, if any. Now, the display on this is fantastic. I really love this thing. It's just a little above full 1080, so it's 1920 by 1200. Uh, although, I mean, you know, horizontally speaking or vertically speaking, I guess it's 1200 by 1920. Um, so it's just a little bit above H full HD. So you get a really nice, crisp quality. Uh, I've got the, the brightness pretty much down here and it's still looking real sharp. Um, the main thing I use this for, honestly, is gaming. Um, I really didn't do a lot of gaming before on tablets, but this thing is really the perfect size. It's just a little bit over eight inches. So it's got just the right amount of screen versus the amount of bezel that I'm holding on to um, and even with the case how much case I'm holding on to so it's actually the perfect size um, I really like it I, I would place it well above the, the the Asus that I previously reviewed 
Um, I, I really like this size a lot better. Um, bigger, I've got the, you know, anything bigger I've got the Surface for. Uh, and smaller, I mean, I really, I tried playing around with a 7 inch one time and that just did not end well. Um, and that, because that was just a really small screen. You can't really do anything on those things. Just, it's like a glorified phone without cellular capability. Um, you know, a lot of people would bring up the camera. Obviously, it's not even on my home screen here. It's not really anywhere that's accessible. It's on this back back page. Um, the quality, I really don't know. Um, let me see here. Uh, if we go into the settings. Uh, 2560 by 1600. So I think that's, what, the 2, 2K or whatever. I mean, it's, it's high quality, but I don't know it, honestly. Because I truly don't believe in taking pictures with your, ta with your tablet. Um, you know, the camera is there. Obviously, it's a high quality image that it's taking. I don't know how good the camera is in real situations, so I'll leave it to others to, to check that stuff out. But I really, this is a great size, a great quality. I mean, it was free. Let's look at it this way. It was free. I paid 10 bucks a month for the data. Uh, I honestly haven't even used it out of the house yet, which is despicable, honestly, because that's what I got it for. I got it to use it out of the house. So I've made a conscious decision to to move into using this on the go. And again, I mean, with, with my Gigantor hands here, I'm holding on to this. I still can't touch fingers across the, the device horizontally. So I have a lot of screen to play with. Even if I was controlling a game, you know, something, something a little more intricate that required, uh, you know, finger motions on the screen, I would still have a lot of game to see while I was using the, the control. So this, honestly, the because of the size, the speed of this thing, I, I absolutely love it. Um, I am gonna play around with some more of the settings and this is actually where I'm gonna do the review. This is what I'm gonna use to review all the other launchers. But for now, I'm using the, the stock launcher, the stock, stock UI and stock widgets. I mean, this isn't anything, this actually comes with the operating system to, to clear RAM. There are mixed reviews on things like that, but even if it doesn't work, psychologically for me, it makes me feel better about the RAM usage on my device. So I actually am looking for something similar for my phone. Um, I don't know. For me, it, it, it seems like it does a something to, to make it run a little faster. So overall, I think this is a fantastic device. I'm sure it's still free with contract. You might even be able to get it really cheap without a contract. This is a this is a fantastic fantastic tablet. I couldn't possibly recommend it more. I mean, it's got expandable storage. It's got a really really good battery life. I mean, uh, uh, this has been. Let's see. I'm still at 100% after playing around with all this, and it was unplugged right before the video started. So I'm still at 100% having played around with settings and and turning it on and off constantly. So. Uh, my my asus doesn't do that the asus doesn't stay on that long i mean obviously larger battery bigger bigger device but still i think this this thing is top notch and if you have a chance if you're looking for an eight to eight and a half tablet this is definitely the way to go and that's pretty much it guys uh this is above and beyond my favorite android tablet i've played with um at this size so something between 7.9 and 8.5 this is definitely a device for me. I I played around, you know, I've gone to various stores, played around with everything. Nothing really struck my eye. I got this on a whim, and I'm super glad that I did. Um, definitely, definitely check this out. And, you know, if you, if you have any questions about it, definitely drop me a line below. I'll be doing that video on the launchers pretty soon. And I know I said that like months ago, but <laughs> I didn't want to do it on the on the note. And so I'm going to do it on this thing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you have any questions, drop them down below. Make sure you guys check out Facebook. We've still got that contest going on. Uh, if we get a, that 100 likes, we'll give away those Audio-Technica headphones as well as the, uh, the Western Digital Router. Um, and yeah, as always, I've been Cerebro for T3G. Signing off. <laughs>